What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another video and it is officially the first video of the new year and I hope all of you out there had an awesome, happy new year to the end of 2023. I know a lot of people are ready to just kiss 2023 goodbye and they were just ready for the next year to start some new vibes and stuff. So me, I took a good break after the Christmas holiday and stuff. I took like a good, like I said, week off where I didn't shoot any videos. I was just hanging with the family plus my son's birthday. Is January 2nd, so it's a very packed little week and a half right here that we got going on. So I really didn't want to do any videos or put any stress on myself, but I've been watching a lot of stuff, and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about some of the stuff that I've been digesting, what I've been doing over the last week and a half, and all that, and some of my plans for the channel in 2024. So stay tuned. Let's do this. Roll it. And as you can tell, I'm refreshed, ready to get back to the grind and start filming some videos. Another thing too is when you get into a certain routine and you're working and you're also doing YouTube and then you got a family too, it's just it gets very daunting on certain things and when you're just dragging your wheels to the ground, like grinding to the ground, sometimes you got to take a break. And so now I'm refreshed, ready to tackle some videos and talk about some awesome stuff. Like I said, what I've been watching, for instance, and what I've been doing over the last week and a half. Really fun fact though is I've been into TV shows again and watching television series and one off the bat that I must talk about right now is Fargo season five. You really have to check that out. I believe right now it's currently it's currently on FX and it's showing and everything. It's almost over though. We're already like seven episodes in or eight episodes into the show and it's fantastic. Fargo, the seasons are, you know, typically like True Detective. So every season has new characters, new actors and new actresses and stuff. And they just have a different story that's going on. And I love the fact that they use kind of based on true life stories and stuff like that. And the performances are gripping the cinematography, the music in here is some of my favorites. It's a lot of those snare drum line type, you know, and like marching band type songs that go in the background and stuff like that, but they fit the vibe and it makes the tension in the TV show so much better. So yeah, Fargo is one that I highly recommend. Like I said, season five is currently on FX and I think you could stream it on Hulu is where you could watch the episodes that have been happening already. And so you can catch up and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Another show that I've been watching, typically this is my work routine one, like when I'm doing some side projects at work and stuff like that, and I can have my phone on and watch a show while I'm, you know, doing some cleaning and stuff is Scrubs. I've been re-diving into Scrubs. That's my comfort show. That's a show that always warms my heart. That's just my top, top television show of all time. Scrubs is the one that I don't mind returning to it. I can re-watch it over and over. I think I've gone through every season like through the whole show probably like four or five times already and now i'm doing it again i'm i just finished season two so i've been like I said every every night pretty much at work like when i get to a certain point i'm doing my minuscule cleaning stuff around the store that's when i pop on scrubs on my phone and i'm listening to it and stuff and watching it so yeah that's a fun show to go back to because donald Faison and freaking all of them sarah chalk john c mckinley like zach braff the cast is phenomenal and I love the characters it's just it's like like I said it's comfort food it warms my heart when I watch that television show now let's chat about some movies that I've been watching and one right off the bat I kind of brought this one up on Mike's live stream for the New Year's Eve yesterday was the um Saltburn I just watched Saltburn not too long ago and that one was quite surprising it's a very weird avant-garde out there type film but the performances and the cinematography is just out of this world for real like all the performances i thought the acting was really off the charts the dialogue is really good and like for me if you have immersive characters and really good cinematography and you can tell that the creators put a lot of effort into this movie like I said even though it's weird it's out there it's avant-garde and stuff i'm there for it like I said it's at least it shows that there wasn't like a bunch of production people like you know meddling with the project and stuff it feels like a very true to the uh, creator who wrote the story you know what I mean that this is how they wanted the film to be so Saltburn was quite a surprise definitely going to be pretty high up there not not top 10 worthy of 2023 but it's it's pretty high up there like I want to say may possibly top 20s like I really got to look at my rankings and when I get down to doing my videos and filming them this month we'll see where it lands and stuff but it, it's pretty high up there I had quite a good time with that one Another movie we got to talk about now is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I know it was a long time I put this one off because I wanted to see this one in theaters and 
the months just kept coming and going and going and like new movies were coming out and other stuff was coming out. Mission Possible just got put on the back burner. So this is one that like I kind of, you know, kick myself for not seeing in theaters because yes, it's a really great film. And to have Mission Impossible, this franchise still going and Tom Cruise and them are pumping out these freaking amazing action films that have some of the best real practical effects sequences and stuff like that and stunt work like it's it's off the charts for real and this I have to watch it again it might be recency biased but I have to watch it again but this might be my favorite Mission Impossible film we, we'll just have to see I have to like I said watch it again and digest because for many years Mission Impossible 3 has been my favorite even with Ghost Protocol coming out and all the other ones that that third film still I return to that one so much but after watching this one day like Dead Reckoning I was quite surprised and gripping and I like the setup for stuff that's we're gonna see the resolution for the next one you know what I mean the stuff that we're they're gonna resolve I kind of am into those films the films that are like the beginning to the setup you know what I mean instead of like the end game type film I like the infinity war type films you know those setup movies first so this one might you know have a little bit of a one-up on depending on how they end this next film now that we chatted some movies and TV shows and what I've been watching, now let's discuss some plans I got for 2024 and the channel and everything. Pretty much still doing my movie reviews, rad movie reviews, rad rankings. You're going to be seeing all that kind of stuff too. Physical media content. I got some more physical media videos down the pipeline as well. But I also want to start doing some more review series and stuff like that where I actually invite people onto the channel. And I want to do that with the Scooby-Doo content because that really took off last year and did a lot of stuff for my channel. So so this year I'm going to start reviewing the Scooby-Doo movies like one-on-one, -on -one, you know what I mean? I'm going to start inviting people onto my channel, you know, like Mike and D-Movie Man and Jason the Old Millennial. Maybe even some friends from, you know, from here, like friends that will be guest stars like sitting right next to me, physically right next to me. And maybe we'll talk about a Scooby-Doo movie. So it's going to be very exciting. That's a series that I want to get going this year. And there's a lot of movies. There's 40 plus Scooby-Doo movies out there with animation and live action. So there's a lot to digest it's going to be really fun, endless content. Also, a lot of still horror content, everything I want to cover, a lot of horror content that's going to still be right on my alley, so you're going to see a lot of that kind of stuff, but I also want to do more vlog videos and stuff like that, so I'm going to try to do more out and about vlog videos, or maybe, to be honest, even some random videos about what I cook for dinner, maybe some YouTube shorts, because I know the YouTube shorts, they really take off, and I want to put a lot of effort into shorts too this year, because they really do help out the channel, and like one of my shorts that popped off like a couple years ago is when I made my holiday eggnog and I showed people how to make it like, you know, in the YouTube shorts. So stuff like that where I'll show like the cooking and the, the spices and what I put in something and like the finishing results of the dish, you know, in like a quick 50 seconds. So I think that would be very exciting. So I got a lot of ideas, a lot of stuff that I want to put out on the channel, but these are just my thoughts. And if you have any thoughts or opinions or anything that you want to talk about or bring up on the channel, or if you want to be a guest on the channel, for the Scooby-Doo content stuff, like I said, there's so many people I have down in my in my head for ideas for the pipeline. So let me know down below in the comments if there's one that you would love to be involved in. Or also your thoughts on Saltburn, Mission Impossible, Scrubs, all the stuff that I talked about today. I would love to hear from all of you down below. Don't forget to like this video. That greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share the video too as well. That greatly helps out. And poke that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video so you can be the first one there to check out my videos. But most importantly, you know what's up. I want you all to have a safe and happy day and great vibes for the start of this new year. Peace out.